Happy to have you back. We are joined, as always, by Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a food and wine sommelier of the year. The group includes where we are, Church Key, downstairs, Birch and Barley, in DuPont Circle. You've got GBD and Iron Gate. Greg, it is always good to see you. Good to see you, too. What's on tap this week? This week is a, uh, a local um, favorite, uh, which is putting it mildly, I would say. Uh, a new local favorite. A new well, local, the brewery, yeah, the brewery yeah, a local favorite. An old local favorite, of course, DC Brow, with a relatively new Imperial IPA called Solar Abyss for the moment, and I'll talk about that in a, mo uh, a little bit later, too. But Solar Abyss from DC Brow, um, certainly, well, actually, probably their most heralded release since On the Wings of Armageddon. And in fact, it was the highest attendance they've ever had for a beer release at the brewery. I think they had over 1,200 people come Whoa. on the Saturday when they released this <laughs> this year. So last year, um, they did it, I believe, for the first time. And that was uh, this Imperial IPA only uh, in draft. Uh, for this year, they did a larger, ba uh, they had a larger release, so they had about 90 barrels, um, only one third of which, about 30 barrels, went into keg. The remaining 60 barrels were canned, as DC Brow uh, does so well, and had the can release at the brewery. 1,200 people showed up. It was a massive party, um, and for good reason, because this is a, uh, a beautiful, beautiful uh, local beer that we have here. Right. So 10%. Alcohol, it's a monster. Uh, Big and hoppy. Smell it. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not even gonna drink it. Mm. Oh, hello. It's, uh, they've definitely figured out the style of beer, I'd say. Uh, but uh, it's so the, good. The key with um, with Solar Abyss from DC Brow is that they use primarily. Last year it was exclusively, and then this year it was almost exclusively mosaic hops um, for the, um, uh, the flavors of the hop character that you get in this beer. So mosaic is an amazing hop, um, first released in 2012, so it's a, obviously a very recent um, hop hybrid. It uh, descends from Simcoe, which is a pretty famous hop known for its kind of grapefruit and pine characteristics. Mosaic is so-called because it has such a wide array of flavors. Like you taste this, you get huge mango, lemony, tropical fruit, there's berries, but then on the palate, it's a lot of like nice earthy, grassy, piney characteristics as well. So a really cool, complete hop that has so many flavors, it doesn't really need to be blended with others. And uh, I said earlier, almost exclusively this year because they can only get their hands on so much mosaic. It's a very popular hop. So they added a, just a touch of centennial in the bittering phase, doesn't really affect the flavor at all, but otherwise it's almost all mosaic. Wow, and 10%, uh, but not boozy. No, not at, at all. all. No, no, well uh, integrated booze there. And um, I did mention earlier that the name Solar Abyss uh, will no longer um, be with us come next year. They had, as happens quite a bit these days, we've talked about it a lot. Their names are, uh, you know, constantly kind of butting heads with one another. And so they had a, a trademark um, request to retire the name and they complied so they're going to keep the exact same liquid if not more mosaic in it next year uh, but it will have a new um, a new name but what that also means is for you can collectors out there which there are ah, people that are point. this is one of the cans that like literally this will never ever be made again so um, grab uh, go out and grab them I'm not a can collector but from what I'm told there are ways to like siphon the beer out of the the base of the can and so it appears intact and you can still drink it so, yeah, you got to do that. Yeah, you don't, don't want to leave, leave the beer in. Leave it, it in there. That'd, that'd be silly. That's going a little too far. Um, but yeah, so I mean, uh, just another great beer, and it's it's really cool because you know, I mean, that's it's kind of DC Brown makes two limited Imperial IPAs uh, on the wings of Armageddon, which we obviously love. We've done some amazing parties at Church Key surrounding that beer as well, and now uh, Solar Abyss. So it's uh, pretty amazing to have this brewery in DC. What would you pair it with? Uh, this is a big, big, huge Imperial IPA that I think can go with lots of things. I am, especially right now, really, really enamored with the big, bold kind of um, tropical, fruity, stone fruit, mango notes there. Um, and I'm thinking about uh, kind of mango salsas with that. So I'm thinking a lot about, you know, uh, Tex-Mex foods, especially because of that dry hop kick in the finish. You can dig through beef and cheese and, and enchilada sauce and you name it, especially seafood-based shrimp tacos. Um, fresh guacamole would be fantastic with this. Uh, things that are nice and salty will bounce against the bitterness as well. Get your hands on it. 
on it that is, if you can, it's, it's very tasty. Greg, Delicious. thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.